Hi, everyone, and welcome to Total Celebrity Show. You can check me out on Twitter at TotalTutor and NeilHaley.com and all those exciting places. And uh, this guy has a busy week ahead for sure. Uh, some exciting things going on. So I'm excited to welcome the program producer, David Permit of Hacksaw Ridge and Punching Henry. David, thanks for calling. How are you? I'm um, great. It's uh, great to speak to you, Neil. Thank you. Absolutely, David. H- how blown away are you about the success of Hacksaw Ridge? I mean, how blown away are you? Well, I can't really describe it. I, I, all I can say is it's a surreal experience for me. I, guess, I must tell you, um, you know, I've produced many films over a long career. You know, I've done some 40-odd movies and TV movies and what have you, and uh this is the top of the mountain. This is an amazing uh, story uh, based on this man's life who won the Congressional Medal of Honor on the front lines without touching a gun and taking life. He wanted to save life as a medic. Wow. Some of your listeners may know, seen the film, and, and he saved over 75 men without ever bearing arms against I- incredible adversaries uh, who wanted him out of the Army, but he was insistent on serving his country. So, number one, it's an amazing story, and with all the great war movies from Saving Private Ryan and Patton and Spin Red Line, you think about Hollywood's history of war films that have been great in the past, it's just a unique perspective on that story. And Mel Gibson delivered an amazing film, and he's nominated, as you know, as well. And Andrew Garfield in the lead with a, with a stellar cast yes. and incredible crew. So it's been 16 years for me on this project since I've been working on it, and i uh, it's been a long, windy road to get this movie made, number one, right. and then to wind up with all the accolades and awards we've received thus far, and now the big prize, obviously, at the Oscars is uh, with, with six nominations is, is very surreal. That's how I would describe the experience. Uh, yeah. You know, I really, uh, yeah. it's an honor and a privilege to get nominated and to get recognized, and it's a miracle films get made to begin with, you know, just making a film today. Uh, yeah. It's it's always pushing boulders up mountains, you know. I, I I described a producer. Somebody asked me the definition of a producer. I said, you know, you have to be impervious to rejection. Yeah. You know, because in a, in a sea of no's, all you need is the one yes. And, you know, obviously with the, your career in radio, whatever, it's, it's just in life. I think we all need to be impervious to rejection. I mean, as an entrepreneur in radio, all those things, David, I agree with you completely. Uh, as a teacher, when I was in education and all these different things, you're going to have to, you're going to have no's. People are going to tell you that you can't do it. So 16 years, this labor of love to now being on the red carpet, Oscars, and being nominated so many times, it just, it just got to feel so good for sure. I mean, I couldn't imagine. I can't, I can't tell you, somebody said. Somebody said to me, you know, get your speech ready. And I said, my speech was written when I was 13 years old. So it's been ready uh, for many, many decades. And, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're, you know, there's so many other films, obviously, uh, worthy of the award. So who knows what will happen, you know, on the stage Sunday night. But, you know, the, the film has done extraordinarily well worldwide. The grosses in China, all over the world. And I think people really resonate. It really resonates and connects with an audience. And hits them on a very deep emotional level, and Mel right. certainly puts you on the battlefield. I think in a, in a significant way. If you haven't ever had that experience, you feel like you had after you saw this movie. Oh, wow! And and y- how you found out about the story? Tell us really quickly, David. How you found out about the story? Well, I won't take you through sixteen years. Yeah. You don't have enough time. <laughs> but but you know, sixteen years ago, a stunt court named named Joel Kramer, who worked with me on a number of films. Um, and he came up to me and said he met a man who's a very good friend of his, uh, Gregory, uh, Gregory Crosby, Bing Crosby's grandson, who had a relationship with this 80-year-old man who was living in Chattanooga, Tennessee, 16 years ago. And he won the Congressional Medal of Honor. So he came to my office, and Gregory and Joel uh, you basically laid out the story to me. And I didn't believe it. Right. I didn't think it was true. I said, wait a minute. You're a medic. You want to you know, serve your country in World War II. You need to be trained in riflery. They don't send a medic, a combat medic, to the front lines with just medical equipment. So I didn't believe it. I didn't think it was a real story. I said, wait a minute, guys. This is impossible. And then I found out it was possible, and Desmond Doss made it possible. So it's a long story, but Desmond, it turns out, had Hollywood at his doorstep. He had Daryl Zanuck and Hal Wallace and Audie Murphy and all these legendary figures from Hollywood's past 
years before I ever existed. And he had Hollywood at his doorstep, and he never felt comfortable exploiting his rights as a movie. He was a very uh, church-going, uh, devoutly religious man to the Seventh-day Adventist church community, and he never respectfully had interest. And when I approached him through Gregory, um, he he really didn't want to have a movie made. He just didn't feel uh, that was his spirit of, of wanting to exploit his story. And he left it up to the Seventh-day Adventist church, and essentially Terry Benedict, a producer on the movie with me, uh, was the key to the door. He was a member of the church and a good friend of, of Desmond. He convinced him oh, and great. the church ultimately where Desmond, you know, so that's, it's a, it's a lot of hurdles just out of the gate in, in getting the right to be able to tell this story. And fortunately we're able to do that. And then you get Mel Gibson and then you have the perfect, uh, perfect storm. And then finally the labor of love 16 years later, the big time. And then to, to make things even more crazy this week, Friday, uh, punching Henry's out. So th- you have like two big things coming up, two projects right in right in a row right uh, in this weekend. So it's an exciting weekend. Well, you know, what's interesting is this business is, uh, you know, it's, it's always been ebb and flow. You know, I've done 40 some odd movies, TV movies, and, you, you know, you trench in development for years like we did on Hacksaw Ridge with Robert Schenken, who wrote the script, uh, ultimately with Andrew Knight as well, the other writer who are both nominated. And you know, the thing about it is, you know, you, you never know when things coalesce and come together. So things came together around the same time with this weekend being a big weekend. Punchy Henry is a comedy. It's the antithesis of a film like Hacksaw Ridge. It's a comedy about a comic on the road. Sarah Silverman, J.K. Simmons, Big Nataro, Doug Stanhope, Jim Jeffries, Mike Judge is in the movie. It's, uh, it's the trials and tribulations of a comic on the road. Darkly funny. I think the audiences will be watching it through their fingers. It's very funny. It'll take you away from the woes of the world to see the movie. So it opens uh, this weekend, and uh, I'm very excited about Punching Henry. And then I just got back to Sundance, where I premiered Jack Black's next film, which will be out later in the year, which is uh, Polka King, based on oh, a wow. true story about a guy who became the king of polka in Pennsylvania and uh, wound up in prison. It's a long story, but it's uh, a dark comedy that Jack starred in for us, and we just premiered in Sundance. So a busy time for me, but of course, Sunday is uh, the anticipation of the Academy Awards with all the nominations for our, our team on this picture is uh, enormously gratifying. And it's exactly. going to be great to be there. Well, I'm going to be rooting for you, David, for sure, uh, to see if you get that to get the uh, the award. And we'll see how many awards you guys pick up. But again, it's just worthwhile, the story for everyone to check out Hacksaw Ridge. And it's in theaters now as well as Punching Henry on Friday. And where can we follow you? We can follow you on Twitter, right, David? Is that the best place? Yeah, I guess. Uh, yes, I think so. That's probably right. Yes. Uh, okay. You can certainly uh, follow me. All right. Well, good talking to you, David. I hope to have you back on to talk about the poker uh, movie when it comes out in Pennsylvania. So let's see. Maybe we'll catch back up again. So thanks again for calling. I appreciate it. Great, Neil. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care, David. See ya. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're listening to Total Celebrity Show, and we'll be back in just a moment. 